Yo, what's up guys? My name is Freaks and welcome back to my channel. guys so in today's video we're gonna be doing something a little bit different so as you guys know it's halloween season you know it's october it's that time to get spooky so i thought maybe every sunday or every couple of sundays leading up to halloween i would react to some maybe scary videos or videos that have to do with halloween you know just because let's get in that season mode you know let's get in that halloween season mode and actually do something that actually involves halloween so today we're going to be checking out three disturbing true Halloween horror stories. This is volume two. I don't know when volume one was posted, but this is by Chilling Scares. So yeah, this is something new on the channel. I've never reacted to this creator before, but hopefully these are some good stories. Most likely they're not true at all. It's just all fucking creepypastas and some shit. That's most likely the case here. But yeah, guys, turn this video. If you guys enjoy my reaction to this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn the bell on too. Guys, do not miss another reaction from me. I'm definitely going to be doing more Halloween videos like this about every Sunday maybe leading up to halloween so yeah if you guys like this video please subscribe to the channel so you are tuned in for more videos i do just like this by the way if you hear lisp it's because my retainer is in right now so my lisp is going in hard today so yeah that yeah it, if if my lisp is pissing you off i'm sorry but yeah first link in the description is going to be the link to the original video go show the original creator some love second and third link in the description are going to be the links to my second channel and music channel i got bangers out on both of those and I'm also going to be posting on both of those very soon. So yeah, go check those out right now and see if you like my music or like my gaming videos. Those will also be linked right there. So just tap one of those and those will take you to one of those destinations. But yeah, guys, I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Let's get right into these spooky Halloween videos. All right, guys, I am ready to get into this video. I've never um, heard of this channel before. I just search spooky Halloween stories. So I don't know if this channel is good, but we'll find out at the end of this. And by the way, tell me what you think of these stories down in the comments below once we're done with this video. But without any further ado, three, two, one, let's get in these Halloween spooky stories. Oh, ghost, ah, oh, it'll fuck you. Sorry. Turn that shit down. Volume two. I don't know where volume one went, but... This happened Halloween of 2008. Okay. I was 14 years old and remember being especially excited for that year's Halloween. I'm guess you're home alone. It fell on a Friday, meaning we could stay out later than usual. I was going to go trick-or-treating with my friend Matthew, after which we would go back to my house for a sleepover. Sounds pretty normal. I lived with my dad, who worked night shifts as a security guard. He was going to be gone pretty much from sundown to sunup, leaving Matthew and I to ironic. do the thing. Very ironic, huh? Matthew showed up at about 7 p.m., to which we quickly threw on some cheap costumes and headed out. Y'all quickly threw on some cheap... I'm sorry for pausing it already. You threw on some cheap costumes. I don't know about y'all, but when I was a kid, bro, I would plan that shit out, like, since October 1st, bro. I'd plan my costume out and everything, bro. Like, <laughs> quickly throw on costumes. Who are you? You're a menace. Trigger treating in our neighborhood was always the worst. We lived in this foresty area where the houses were really spread out. We probably walked a good quarter mile between each door. But at the same time, I think the homeowners kind of realized this, as they would typically hand out larger amounts of candy to make up for it. I love the large candies, bro. Of course, we'd see Especially other the rich houses. Well houses. But not as many as you'd think. There weren't all too many kids living in the area. We'd been trick-or-treating for about two hours. Two goddamn hours? It was either a grown man or a really tall kid. I couldn't tell. He had a Michael Myers mask covering his face. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought he was just trick or treating like everyone else. Yeah, grown man, he sure. He didn't have a bag to hold candy. And it was just him. It wasn't like he was with his kid or anything. I told Matthew about it, but he wanted to keep going. He reassured me that if the guy kept following us, we could go back. Kick him in the so balls and run. That's the go to plan. But the guy did continue to follow us. Something I picked up on pretty quick is that he wasn't even walking up to the house's front doors to get candy. He stayed behind us. Again, I told Matthew. This time I could tell he was a bit more on edge. Coming up was a shortcut through the woods which led directly to my house. We took it, sprinting as soon as we entered the woods. 
Paul we asked. If we were followed, but either way, we immediately yeah, started don't look back. the doors and windows. I remember I was upstairs locking my bedroom window when I heard yelling from back downstairs. Uh oh, it was Matthew. I ran down to him. He dead. Standing next to the living room window. Oh, never mind. I asked him what was wrong. He didn't say anything. Instead, he pointed outside the window. He was Pulling there. His finger. He was there. Was as my eyes adjusted to the darkness. All I could see were trees. I looked back at Matthew. What? He told me the guy in the Michael Myers mask was standing out there. Now I just thought he was trying to scare me. But when I looked back, I actually saw him. He was deep in the forest, halfway covered by one of the trees, just standing there motionless. I went to the kitchen to grab the phone. I called my dad as I walked back to the wall. Call the police! Well, he was a security he guy, up, so I, I guess. There was a stranger outside in a Michael Myers mask. But call the police! What is he doing? As I was looking out the window, I told him that he was just standing there, watching the house. Look, it's probably just some teenager trying to scare you. <laughs> he comes up to the door, is this house for sale? <laughs> that was not the response oh, I was imagine, for, bro. But I thought maybe he was right. Matthew and I Wait, what did he say? Scare you. Standing there, watching the house. Look, it's probably just some teenager trying to scare you. Just make sure all the doors are That is possible. Him. That was not the response I was hoping for. But I thought maybe he was right. Matthew and I went upstairs to my room and did our best to forget about it. But, of course, it was pretty much all we could think about. We started trying to come up with reasonable explanations. This was interrupted by the sound of glass shattering from downstairs. Oh! My heart started racing. Did, did he break in? To do. The phone was back downstairs. We turned off the light and got into the closet. We shuffled to the way back, hiding behind hanging clothes, out of view. The next five minutes were completely silent. He broke in, didn't he? Then, uh, footsteps entering the room. They started walking around. My heart was racing. Oh, That's when the closet shit. door slowly opened. Oh, fuck. A full minute had to have passed, of just nothing. Until, breaking the silence, was Matthew screaming. <laughs> He was yanked out of the closet from right next to me. <laughs> I stepped out. Oh, fuck! In the Michael Myers mask, now with a knife. Matthew was being wrestled to the ground, but in the struggle, the guy dropped his knife. In a matter of seconds, Matthew was pinned down. Pick it up and I stab him! And immediately stuck it in the back of the guy's thigh. Yes! He fell on his side, screaming in pain. Matthew got up, and we started running downstairs. We went outside and Run out. to my neighbor's house. Yes! When we got there, we banged on the door until they answered. We explained our situation, and they let us inside as they called the cops. To make a long story short, the cops didn't find the guy. He was missing from the house when they arrived. Ironic. There was nothing to show Ironic, for the encounter, uh... but a broken window and a missing kitchen knife. They looked for a blood trail, but never found one. I received the no injuries. The fuck was the dude made of? He wasn't as lucky. As he was struggling with the guy, he received a cut down his arm. Even today, I still think about that night. Damn, is there a fucking ghost behind me? I swear to God. Oh, shit. When I was 19, I lived at home with my parents. This happened on Halloween, and like every other... That first story wasn't as... Wasn't scary. It was more of a guy fucking breaking in your house. A creep breaking in your house. And your friend almost died. I mean, I guess it's scary. My parents had me hand out candy to the kids that came by. I didn't mind. Our living room was right next to the front door. So I just put on a movie and get up whenever the doorbell rang. It was about 10 p.m. The doorbell rings were slowing down. By this point, both of my parents had gone to bed. Yo, out by 10 p.m.? Trick or treating? Where I'm from, we stop at like 8. The dark night. No, not 8, like 9. Rang. I looked over to the left where the phone sat. Unknown caller. That's all it said. Now, literally just the other day, we had gotten a new set of phones. We were given a new number and hadn't given it out to anyone yet, so I doubted it was That was right. weird. But I still thought I'd answer it just in case. I picked it up. Hello? Hey, yo. All I could hear was heavy breathing, so I hung up. 
I figured they had the wrong number. Shortly after the phone went off again, it said the same Don't thing. Don't answer. Unknown caller. I picked it up again. Oh my god. Who is this? This time, a male voice replied. I know where you live. I hung up again. I stopped to think for a second. Someone says that to me. I am packing my bags and going to a hotel. I don't care if it's someone scaring me. I'm not taking those chances. I'm not. I was starting to realize that it was probably just someone trying to prank call me. I mean, it was Halloween night. I can't even blame them. But at the same time, that's something you'd expect from a kid, or at the very most, a teenager. You would recognize their voice of one of your friends or something. Teenager. Over the course of the next 10 minutes, six or seven more phone calls came in. Finally, I picked up again. This time, I didn't say anything. There were a few seconds of silence before the man started talking. I'll be honest, I don't remember exactly what was said, but it was something like how the guy was outside our house and that I needed to unlock the back door so we could get in. He said if we called the cops, he was going to kill everyone inside before they could arrive. After that, the line went dead. Ooh. I was basically fully convinced by this point that this wasn't a prank call. I went to the kitchen, crawling on all fours to stay under the view of any window. <laughs> I could just knife. imagine that. With knife in hand, I crawled to my parents' room and shook awake my dad. I whispered to him that someone was outside near the back door. He immediately got out of bed and grabbed his loaded revolver. As we crept this is house, escalating. Explain the situation. I told him about all the phone calls. When we got to the back door, he unlocked it and stepped outside with no hesitation. He shot one bolt into the air, and right as he did, three men popped out from a set of bushes right up against the house and started sprinting away. They ran straight into the forest our house was backed up to. My dad chased Ooh. them for a bit. But Why would he them. chase them? They disappeared into the trees. We never saw them again. We have no idea who they were. We called and told police, but there was nothing they could do. But yeah, it's too late now. Phone number or what they wanted. Bro, why? I would have booked a fucking hotel that second this I got that last call. Year on Halloween. I was 18 at the time, and my best friend Michael was 17. We both knew we were too old for trick or treating, but we also knew that handing out candy wouldn't be any fun. That's when Michael came up with an idea. There was this old abandoned house that was close to mine that we'd always said we'd explore at some point. We figured, what better night than Halloween? We waited until it got dark. I want to do that one day. Until there were much less like explore an abandoned house or something. When we grabbed a couple flashlights. Like on Halloween, that would be that would be lit. It took us a few minutes, but eventually we got to the house. Of course, since it was abandoned, it was a huge mess. Trash was scattered across the floor. Windows were boarded up. You get the picture. We walked up to the front door. I was half expecting it to be locked, but it opened. Inside was pitch black. We stepped inside. Our flashlights didn't light up much, so we did the best we could in looking around. The house had two floors. We explored everything on the bottom and didn't find anything interesting, so we went upstairs. Up there, we immediately saw two rooms. Michael went in the one on the right, and I went in the one on the left. Shit is so scary though, like just going into a dark the abandoned drawers, house. The closet, still nothing of interest. Well, of course not. I was looking out the window, when blood curdling screams shot out from the other room. It was Michael. I ran over to the room he was in. Initially, I didn't see anything. Fuck Michael, I'm running out. Until I put my flashlight in the back left corner. There was Michael but he had an arm around his neck. Someone wearing all black with a Halloween mask had Michael in a chokehold. I could tell his face was turning red, so I did the only thing I could think of. I threw my flashlight as hard as I could at the person. <laughs> I watched the strike on his side. He let go of Michael and shouted out in pain, holding his side. Now with no light, we ran downstairs. We managed to stumble out of the house in the dark. When we got out, we ran, but not before looking back. Lit only Why by the moonlight, would we you saw look three back? figures standing in the upstairs window looking down at us, all of them wearing that same Halloween mask. We turned back around and ran even faster. We finally stopped when we made it back to my driveway. I bent over, breathing heavily. 
Neither of us knew what to think or do. We had no idea what we just came across. Later that night, Michael told me what happened when he entered that room. He got in there and started exploring it like every other room. After a while, he noticed something in the corner. He shined his flashlight at it and saw that it was a Halloween mask. He walked over to it thinking it was propped up against the wall. It slightly moved. No, nah, that's scary, bro. I would have a heart he attack. Out, but was quickly put in a chokehold. That's when I came in. What <laughs> Dude, that is fucking how flashlight. He, he said that whoever was in the mask had to have been using all their force on his neck. He wasn't just being restrained. He genuinely couldn't breathe for the good 20 seconds or so that he was held there. Like I said before, we don't know what we came across. We don't know what those guys were doing. Oh my but god. But agree it wasn't something we were supposed to see. I truly believe... You weren't supposed to be there. Well, of course. Oh my god. Oh, we, we, fucking... Uh, I might check this one out fucking later. Maybe another video. But anyways, that was... That was interesting. New, something new for a change. I enjoyed this. This was this was a vibe. This was more. This wasn't disturbing as more of people just trying to murder people. <laughs> that's, that's all this really was. But um, it was still a good video. It's st it still a vibe. You know what I'm saying? It fits Halloween. Alright, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This wasn't really scary, but it was still cool to react to because I haven't reacted to videos like this before. So it's good to react to something different for a change. And we're in the Halloween spirit, so this video was perfect for a Halloween video. Like I said again, I might do these every Sunday, but I don't know if you guys want it. You know, I'll do it. But yeah, guys, all these were still fun to watch. These stories were pretty good. I wish there was a little bit more like anticipation and like a little bit of like turns and twists in the stories but it was just like straightforward stories which i'm okay with but me personally i like twists and turns in the story that like people don't expect so yeah but yeah it's still a good job by the creator again for its link in the description go show the original creator some love for this video but yeah guys just another reminder if you guys enjoy my reaction to this video like my personality throughout this video please hit the like button subscribe and turn the bell on so you guys do not miss another reaction from me I'm definitely going to be reacting to more things like this as the halloween season and progresses and maybe even after the halloween season but yeah guys that's probably gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay blessed my name is freaks and i'm out you a fucking bitch thinking my shit fucking weak see what you can do i bet you can't come close to me got the crowd to scream they screaming like